Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. Major changes have been proposed for the Pebble Bed Modular Reactor, or PBMR, leading to a number of questions being asked about the future of this nuclear project. Today we are joined by Keith Campbell, Senior Contributing Editor for Engineering News, to unpack the details. Keith, welcome to the show. Before we look at the proposed design changes, can you take us through what the PBMR is? Well, the PBMR is what is called a fourth generation high temperature gas cooled reactor. That means it is cooled by gas, obviously. Previously, reactors were cooled by water. Uh, it operates at a higher temperature than previous reactor designs. Uh, it is a so called pebble bed because it makes use of spherical fuel. The fuel comes in the shape of balls, which contain a tiny core of nuclear fuel wrapped in several layers of graphite and other materials. The PBMR is much more compact than alternative uh, nuclear reactor designs, although each PBMR generates significantly less power than the conventional large-scale nuclear reactor would do. What design changes did the South African team propose? Well, the original concept for the South African PBMR was that it would employ what's called a direct cycle. Now, the PBMR is cooled by helium gas. Now, going through the reactor, that helium gas heats up a lot. And the superheated helium gas would be used to power to drive a turbine to generate electricity. It would then be cooled and returned to the reactor. So there'd be a single cycle involved. Helium through reactor to turbine, through coolers, etc., back to reactor. Now, that's unusual. Most reactors employ a dual cycle uh, approach. Uh, in a conventional reactor, you have water goes through the core of the reactor. It's turned into superheated steam. It's conveyed to a heat exchanger where the heat is transferred to a second separate water cycle. The water in the separate cycle is turned into superheated steam. That goes and drives the turbine, which creates the electricity. And in both cases, the water is then cooled again and then the primary cycle goes through the reactor again, the secondary cycle goes through the heat exchanger again. Now, the proposal design changes for the South African PBMR are that it adds a secondary cycle. So instead of one cycle, all helium, we'd have two cycles in which the helium goes through the reactor, then the helium, superheated helium, goes to a heat exchanger and turns water in the secondary cycle into steam. That steam can be used either to drive a turbine and generate electricity or it can be used for what's called process heat. That is, in chemical processes that require high temperature to trigger chemical reaction. Or indeed, it can be used for both in a single plant. And the reason they're doing this is because there's much stronger interest in process heat applications of the PBMR than previously expected. What impact will these design changes have on the demonstration plant that will be built here in South Africa? Well, it's delaying the project. How long the delay will be uh, depends on just how much redesign work is required. The, the simplest approach is to keep the current reactor size that they plan for the demonstration plant and add the dual cycle system. The more extreme would be to redesign the reactor to produce a smaller uh, PBMR and have the dual cycle attached to that. Now, if they go for the uh, more extreme alternative, redesign the reactor itself, the delay could be as much as two years. If they stick with the current PBMR design, the delay will be shorter. So despite this delay, the project will go ahead? Oh yes, the project is still going ahead. The PBMR project has allowed South Africa to become one of the leading nations in the world in nuclear energy technology for the 21st century. Thank you very much. That was Keith Campbell talking about the Pebble Bed Modular Reactor. Thank you for watching the Second Take Show. Join us again next time.